Hey, how's it going, everyone? Uh, happy Wednesday, and today is Yom Kippur. So today's the day of the atonement. Praise God! You know, I, I, I just thank the Lord Jesus Christ for paying the price at the cross. You know, He died for us, me and you, and you know, with His precious blood, cleanses us of all unrighteousness. Man, I'm a way beyond blessed. And so today, I want to talk about. Intimacy is what God wants, not head knowledge. Intimacy is what God wants, not head, not head knowledge. Before we get started, let's go ahead and pray first. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you, Lord, for the day. Thank you, Lord, for the time, Lord, that we, you know, spend time together, Lord, and Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your blood. We thank you, Lord, that you paid the price for us so that we can be set free. Lord, I just pray that you would give us, give us peace, give us understanding. Help us, Lord, to apply scripture into our lives. And uh, we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. <clears throat> Turn with me in Genesis chapter 6, verse 9. Genesis chapter 6, verse 9. And we see that God wants us to have a relationship with Him and not just head knowledge. And Genesis chapter 6 verse 9 says, These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and blameless among his con uh, contemporaries. Noah walked with God. Amen. See? Noah was a man who walked with God. And we see this in the book of Enoch as well. And also in the book of Jubilees. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 5. Deuteronomy chapter 5. Verse 33. <clears throat> This is what the Lord commanded the Israelites to do. You shall walk in all your ways. Sorry, you shall walk in all the ways which the Lord your God has commanded you, so that you may live and that it may be well with you, and that it may prolong your days in the land which you shall possess. So God commands us to walk in God's ways, to walk in the commandments of the Lord. In order for us to be prolonged in our in our lives. You know, I wanna live me maybe one hundred years old. God willing. You know? In Psalms 73, Psalm 73, verse uh, 28, but it is good for me to draw near to God. I have taken my refuge in the Lord God, that I may declare all your works. Last but not least, in James chapter 4. In James chapter 4, verse 8. One of the most famous uh, scripture that everybody likes to quote. And it reads, Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Amen. 
So the first thing I want to say is that God wants us to draw near to Him, and then I walk with you know with God. You know, God doesn't want us to go, you know, just only knowing the Scripture. God wants an intimate relationship with you and I, because God, because we are God's creation. If we're going to be God's creation, at least we got to talk with the Creator. Amen? God created us to worship the Lord. God created us to worship Him. And not, you know, in, 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 in understanding that God is calling us to go to the next level of our relationship with God. And that is intimacy. Number two, you know, it's okay that you study, you read, and you apply scriptures. It's okay. <clears throat> but religious people talk scripture but not having a relationship with God. They can they can quote scripture all they like. But if they're if they're not producing the fruit of the spirit or or if they're not in intimacy with the Lord, all that is in vain. And so in order for us to be strong in the Lord, not only that you got to study and read scripture and apply it, we got we got to live out the scripture. Amen. We got to live out the scripture as, as God called us to to be doers of the word and not hearers only. No three, Bible college and seminaries is just for religious people unless you apply what you learn. See, I, I'm, you know, for me, I am a Bible college student. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get my social degree and then hopefully later on get my master's so that I can become an adjunct professor and teach at a college level. But I can't do that if I'm not applying what I'm learning. And, and, and same thing with my walk with the Lord when I read scripture and understanding what the word is saying. I, I just let the Holy Spirit, you know, just, just letting the Holy Spirit to minister to me and, and, and truly understand who, who am I in Christ. And show me revelations of his words. Amen. And so, Bob, you know, and, and, and I like Damon Thompson says this, you know, <clears throat> he recommends one half of the, the Bible colleges because he believes that, you know, having a, having a you know, education is great. But if you're not applying the word, if you're not applying what you learn in, in Bible college or seminary, you just go there to, to get a degree and teach people. No, it's more than that. I believe personally that Bible colleges and seminary is kind of becoming more of a, of a religious um, institution rather than actually teaching you how to live out, you know, God's way. But I, dig but I digress. But, you know, from my experience, I believe that, you know, it's good to learn. It's good to have educational uh, study of Scripture. But if you're not applying it, if you're not, if it, you know, if you're not, um, li you know, living a lifestyle, of the kingdom, then then Bible colleges and seminaries is in vain, and you're wasting thousands and thousands of dollars of your time, and not you know. So, God wants intimacy, not head knowledge, because you know we cannot fathom God in a box. Is that we got to be outside of the box to understand who God is through the scriptures. That's how it is, folks. So, may God bless you. May God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time.
Bye.